love, peace, happiness, relationships, building a wonderful life with your children and your family. Isn't this what we all want? Isn't this what we deserve? Isn't this why we're here on this planet experiencing this life? I agree. And yes, we can have it all. We truly can. See, I believe that we're a spiritual being having a human experience. And with that, life sends us sometimes lessons that we are here to learn. And for me, my analogy is talking about life sending me a feather, a little tickle, a little bit of a nudge, a little bit of awareness to wake up and see what's happening. And for me, my experience has been, if I don't listen to that feather, then life will send me a brick. Something a little bit harder, maybe a little tap in the head, a fall over, something that, you know, the universe says, wake up, Leanne, have a look around, what's going on? And unfortunately for me, and I hope that you have not been in this position, the universe has sent me truck after truck after truck. And what I mean by that is that the universe has sent me head-on collisions with uh, the lessons that I need to learn. And I'll come back to that in a moment. So if we can have it all, and it's not difficult, how do we get there? Well, I'm here to tell you that you have the answers, that you have the power, and it all lies deep inside you, your being, your subconscious, your soul. And I'm here to tell you that you can have the life of your dreams. And at Absolute Wisdom, I'm going to teach you and show you the tools to untap maybe some blockages that you have, or maybe some things that aren't just right. I'm going to show you how to do that. So the biggest mistake that we make is we all know stuff. I don't know how many times I've heard someone say to me, yeah, I know that, or yeah, I know that, blah, blah, blah whatever, it doesn't matter how much you know, what are you actually doing with that knowledge? See, until we actually put that knowledge into action, you have no wisdom and you're not going to get any further in life. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So over here in the box beside me is the five steps to success. Now success can mean different things to different people. So success might be falling in love, attracting a soulmate. It might be creating a relationship that is just to die for with your children and your family. Maybe it's creating an awesome business, an online marketing portal. Maybe it's affiliate income, passive income. Maybe it's just finding that inner peace inside you and happiness. Whatever it is, these tools will help you get there, I guarantee it. But it's not for everybody. So if you think you're not ready, don't go there because it will stretch you. And I will show you some things that might feel a little bit uncomfortable. But I know another thing, and I know this because I experience it. We're either growing or we're dying. So if you're comfortable, that means you're neither growing or dying, you're stuck. You're in a place where, you know what, it might be cool for a while, but you're not actually experiencing what's going on with you. You're not experiencing your soul, your purpose, your passion. So. Who am I and why should you listen to me? That's a great question. My name is Leanne Peard and I'm the owner of Absolute Wisdom. I've been a life and business coach since 2009 and I have been coaching people all around the world, literally. I also have a niche in my business coaching with social media and I've been very successful in teaching business owners how to actually get their business, their offline bricks and mortar business out there into the world of social media. So Google me. Google my name, you'll find out everything you need to know about me. But guess what? I've known a lot and I've had my fair share of bricks. But let me just share one thing with you as a female. My very first brick was when I was 16 years old. I decided in my wisdom, because I took action, that I would leave home. Not because anything was wrong with my home, it was just that being a Capricorn and headed and stubborn I thought I could take the world on as you do at 16. Now it was great it really was and I have no regrets whatsoever but 
The boyfriend that I was seeing at the time, I decided not to see anymore. And within a few short months, I found myself in a position, walking home one night, sober, I was 16, from a local dance, and being confronted by three or more men. And he was one of them. Now, they had some serious tasks on their agenda that they wanted to do to me. And I knew that straight away and I put up a fight. I screamed and I yelled and I scratched and I kicked and I did everything in my right to get away from them. But I didn't and I couldn't. So what happened next was I was raped by the three of them and I did slip into unconsciousness, whether it was from their king hitting me or whether they pushed me over and hit my head on a brick, I don't know. But I remember coming to halfway through the experience and seeing the anger in their eyes, saw the violence and how much hatred they had for another human being, me, that I knew then, and it wasn't a knowing, it was, it was an inner inside, inside knowing that if I stirred, I may not live, I, I may not get through this. So in my own wisdom, somehow I went back to unconsciousness or passed out. Before I did that though, I heard them say, she hasn't moved, she hasn't wiggled, is she dead? And one of the guys, and I was going to say gentlemen, but they're far from gentlemen, and one of them said, well, we'll drive past here tomorrow morning, and I was in the middle of a vacant block of land. They said, we'll drive past in the morning, and if she's here, we know she's dead and if she's not here then we know she's okay so the reason I'm telling you this is for a number of reasons and you can read my book if you want to you know understand where I'm coming from but when I got home I walked home I woke up with the Sun beating down on me at nine o'clock in the morning when I came to and I walked home the amygdala which is a part of the brain here which is the gatekeeper I remember instantly that that subconscious part of my brain said to me, we don't need to, we don't need to deal with this right now. You're too young. We don't need to share your story. No one will believe you. We don't need to anyone else to know about what is going on. We'll fix it for you. Now that sounds a bit queer, right? But this is what happened. So instantly, in a heartbeat, whilst I was in the shower, washing off bits and pieces of grass that were stuck to my body and looking at my bruises. I, my subconscious decided that I didn't know, need to know anything more. That was it, it was fixed. It was like a miracle. I went to sleep for 45 hours and when I woke up, my flatmate was saying to me, what happened to your dress? Why is there grass all over the bedroom and the bathroom floor? Why are you covered in bruises? What's going on? And even, even with all that information coming back into my conscious brain, I had no recognition. I had no idea what she was even talking about. Now that is how powerful our unconscious or our or non-conscious brain is. And it took me 25 years of being a completely different person to discover what happened. Now when you turn 40, your amygdala starts to actually weaken a little bit. And that's when the memories started flooding back into my conscious brain. Why am I sharing this with you? Because that is one of my bricks. And whether you've been exposed, which I hope that you haven't been to a circumstance like this, I need to share with you the power that you have within you. Because for me, that was a gift. And a lot of people get horrified when I hear that. But it's a gift because I can stand here today and I can tell my story. And I know already from this book sales that I've had that I've changed women's lives. I've changed women's lives all over the world and that makes my blood just goose up and I'm very very privileged to do that so that's one brick and I've had many trust me there's not much else that hasn't gone on in my life that I don't know about so absolute wisdom and my mission is to inspire train and show women all over the world that you can create the life of your dreams regardless of your past experience regardless of your beliefs, your thoughts, and what you believe to be true. You have this power inside you. All you need to do is just tap into it and let it free. You have a feminine essence that is just waiting to glow and 
bust out into the world. So I'm hoping that from this moment on you will only experience feathers as I am every day. I see feathers every day in my life and that's another story. I want you to see feathers and I want you to have the awareness of how to understand what's going on for you in your life at that particular moment. I want you to understand what the universe is sending you and how you can change it to create the life of your dreams if you want to. So this is not for everybody. At Absolute Wisdom, it is about having a clear purpose, having clarity and having the knowledge or gathering the knowledge to take action. So if you want to come with me on this journey or you want me or you give me the privilege to assist you, just put your details in the box beside and take control of your life today with my five steps to success. These five steps to success will showcase you how to have success in all areas of your life. And I guarantee it will work, but it's not for everybody. So if you're not ready, don't do it, trust me, because your life will never be the same. You will own your power and your absolute wisdom. So I'll see you on the other side, sister. Ciao for now.